in that moment, is he thinking, oh, I better not get charged for improper conduct? Well, I believe they could increase... Are they, have they increased his... No, they, they've said now he's found guilty of that. So, yeah, so they, they could increase the ban. So, you, listen, the answer is... Back in the day, and even last year, less so. A few years ago, less so. But as the law changes to try and stop the harassment of officials, and it has become worse, then you have to adapt to it. And it drives me nuts still. The surrounding of referees and the remonstrating on decisions, particularly penalties and red cards, when they know it's going to go to VAR, right? You see them going round a ref, and you're, you're sitting up, you might be sitting at home or whatever, and you think, it's going to VAR. <laughs> Do not harass the referee. So, yeah, listen, he didn't accept the decision. Yeah. He then carried that on as bef just before he went down the tunnel to the fourth official. He had to be basically escorted down the tunnel, and he, had no, and he should have had no complaints because it was reckless... It denied a clear goal-scoring opportunity as Isaac was through. And as I said yesterday, it was one of the most simplistic red cards I think you'll see. So he had no complaint. And if they ban him for an extra game on top, then they're, they're saying to other players, and by the way, he's high profile, they're saying to others, we told you about throwing the ball away. We told you about time-wasting. We told you about this scenario with officials. So they have to do something, in my opinion. But you're saying this with a, with a very level head, yeah, with, with, with hindsight. Like, you've been there. You've been right in the mix when a referee's... I don't the make the laws. But I then how, how easy is it to think that? It's to... not easy. That is... Well, it's not easy. Right. But you have to take that into... I, I, listen, I lost it with referees as bad as anybody, right? Because you don't see the picture when you're on the field. Yes, but the game has changed, the laws have changed, and the way the game is refereed through VAR has changed. You have... To, it's like everything else. When a law changes, when you can, you know, when you can roll it back to the goalkeeper and he can't pick it up, it's a change. When you don't have to be outside the box for a goal kick, it's a change. You have to adapt to all these things. Right or wrong, you have no choice. You have to adapt. Uh, Jules, I heard in your uh, pickup games when you were at the World Cup with Sebi uh, that you were shouting at everybody, so you need to sort <laughs> yourself out as well. <laughs> but never at the referee. You know, I'm always clean with the referee, and you saw Van Dijk, his reaction. I mean, we knew this was coming because you, you saw his reaction, and he was never going to get away with it. We saw the F word and, and all of that, and the aggressive, the, the, manner, the aggressive manner in which he, he talked to the referee. So that was coming. Now Konati is injured, we're not really sure when he's back. Van Dijk is suspended, might be a longer suspension because of that, that charge, that FA charge that we saw today, which is not good. And again, Liverpool won that game at Newcastle, it could have been far worse had they lost it and lost Van Dijk on top of it. But at his age, when you're club captain like that, you know you, know you can't go, you know there's boundaries and you can't go that far because you're going to get done. Well, it's, it's even... More simplistic than that, he knows. Does he actually think he's been wrong there? Well, at the time, he clearly does. Listen, trust me. His As manager a... thought that he was... Oh, there. like, Jurgen Klopp's head in the cloud with this. <laughs> there is not many people on the planet who don't think that's a red. On the planet, right? As a player, you know what you have done. You know you have not played the ball before the man, right? 100%. He knows what he's done. So why the remonstration? Would you give him an extra game? Uh, on top of the ban for the red card? Mm. Yes. Would because, you? Well, yeah, I would. Because you can't set these laws and change the rules and regulations and, and directives and then, and then not do anything about it. You, ju you just can't. So you have to set a precedent. And, and it just so happens it's one of the biggest teams and biggest players. But you have to set a precedent to the others. Right, if you get red carded and you disagree with it, you cannot act in this way to, towards the officials or your, your ban may be lengthened. If you don't do anything about it, what's the point changing the laws? Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.